It's just absolute dodgems now. He's descending into anarchy. There's a Domino's uh, Fiat 500 there back there who just wants to deliver a pizza. What is up guys and welcome back to Gran Turismo Sport. Get ready for the greatest spectacle in sim racing. You've heard about the Indy 500. Well, get ready for the Fiat 500. 500. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but in any case, today we are racing on uh, Gran Turismo Sport with some Fiat 500s. This is an open lobby which I hosted uh, about a week or two ago. Um, did a few races, Brands Hatch, uh, Sakuba, and then we finished off with an oval circuit and we turned up the slipstream to a pretty ridiculous amount and it made for an absolutely hectic race. So uh, make sure you stay to the end to see that one. But um, yeah. Fiat 500s, it's been a new addition to the Gran Turismo Sport game. I think in the latest update, um, they brought out this car. They brought out the uh, Aston Martin GT1 car. And they brought out something else which I have already forgotten. Give me a break. I'm not a Gran Turismo YouTuber. But regardless, the thing that I'm most excited about is, of course, the Fiat 500. This is a bit of a meme uh, on the internet. And uh, we are going to show you that this car means business. This series, this could be a series, if it isn't already, in real life. Fiat 500s, make it a thing. We're starting off here with Brands Hatch, and uh, we qualified in P2, which is pretty good for us. Daniel Ricciardo is ready to go. Uh, he's had a bit of a career change. He's obviously upgraded from uh, his days at Renault, and he is now racing. He's, he's on his pathway, guys, to Ferrari, okay? He's got he's to go back through the junior... Ferrari Academy. He's got to race back in Fiat 500s to get back to, to F1 in the Scuderia, alright? So just give him a break. Away we go. Uh, we're in P3. All seriousness. Um, this car was a little bit of a handful uh, to drive. Contrary to popular belief, you'd think this thing would be a walk in the park. This car is ridiculously snappy under brakes. Um, and you'll notice that quite a bit, especially at Sakuba Circuit. Um, if you just jam on the brakes, the car will absolutely flip out uh, with, I don't know, oversteer. There's just not a lot of stability. You can see we're already pitching and rolling um, in the braking zone through the final corner here. We're running the short uh, layout of Brands Hatch. I did try the long version. That was just not, it just wasn't going to work with these cars. Smaller is better. And... Um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Heading into turn one, let's see if we can go around the outside of this South African guy. That doesn't quite work out. The race leader is taking a small excursion through the tools, and you can see I'm already frantically adjusting the brake bias to help counteract that. Look at the South African through turn two. He <laughs> nearly lost it all, but he had to catch it. That was a very nice save from him there, and we are absolutely flying. Still trying to find an avenue past these two guys. The track limits around this place are absolutely absurd. You can cut corners, you can extend, you can do whatever the hell you bloody like. The stewards love to go on holiday while racing is happening on this game. But uh, we shoot up into the lead. Uh, the South African uh, has a very poor final corner and then uh, the, the German behind us gets a one second time penalty. So at this stage I was like, the race is in the bag, surely. But then that one ounce of cockiness I guess what was my undoing down to P6 and probably even worse as uh, we fall into the clutches of the midfield I guess five lap race uh, so not a lot of time for people to make their way through the field especially after a silly old mistake like that we try to go around the outside of this pink Fiat 500 that is uh, an absolutely beautiful color for this car by the way round the outside and again, we've done the same mistake two laps in a row. So that was fun. I think that was pretty much race over here. Uh, we come to the final lap now. Uh, having to be very aggressive here into turn one. I lose the back end under brakes. And then here, the car just pivots off the curb and we're sideways. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
I don't know what physics this is. I'm a little bit embarrassed to admit this. Oh no, not really, because it's actually a nice car. I actually own a Fiat 500, so I welcome the slating in the comments. And um, I can tell you guys that on a daily occurrence, I'm, I'm always worrying about my Fiat rolling over as soon as I touch a bump on uh, these nicely paved British roads uh, over the last year. But anyway, away we go for race two. This is Sakuba. Um, if anyone has done GT Sport or even iRacing, you will know that this track is notorious for punting. It's, uh, it's, it's the home of dive bomb centrals. Like literally every corner is a dive bomb opportunity. Turn one and then coming up here through this little S is not really a, a corner to be honest. This is the real turn two, another dive bomb area. We've got this little right hander that approaches here. You can still kind of punch someone out of the way if you're even remotely alongside. So that's another punting opportunity. And then here we have probably the, the mother of dive bombs here. This is a very tight hairpin and you can probably punt about two or three people off if you are eager enough, which uh, the guy on our inside is. Thank you for the squeeze. And then we've got the final corner, which is a very nice flowing right-hander. We get a two second penalty for that. So my biggest mistake in this uh, open lobby, which I'm hosting, uh, was enabling contact uh, penalties, even side-to-side -side contact penalties. So uh, in future, I will restrain from doing that. But uh, yeah, this is really just my first taste into hosting open lobbies. There is so much potential in Gran Turismo Sport. Um, so get set for a whole lot more of these. Got a lot of ideas and I don't want to spoil them just yet because um, they're going to be absolute bangers, which I don't believe have been done on YouTube before. So stay tuned for that. But this race, it's absolutely kicking off. It's Dive Bomb Central. People are getting penalties left, right, and center. I, I Honestly, this race is not going to be decided on track. It's going to be decided in the stewards' room with the amount of, uh, yeah, time penalties dished out to everyone. We're climbing our way through the field. I think in this one, we turned off qualifying, but uh, the game put me at the back. I think it was just random. So uh, luck, I guess, wasn't really on my side in that one. But uh, we've got three laps to go, still in P8. Not exactly the kind of progress I was hoping to make. But uh, hopefully the guys up the front can take each other out and we can have a good time with things. This final corner is a good opportunity to make up some time. You can really track each stand on the exit there. No real need to really because these cars are so slow. We're pretty much um, cruising in there anyway. Dive bomb up the inside into turn one. Uh, the guy we overtook, uh, I think it was... Danish? Uh, he just completely went out of the way. So thank you very much for escorting yourself off the track. We've now got the South African. We were fighting at Brands Hatch in front of us. And I know that this guy will be a bit of a tough cookie to crack. It is now the last lap of the Grand Prix. And uh, we're going to see if we can salvage something at least half respectable here. Trying to do my best to launch this car out of the slow speed corners. Second gear, forget about it. It's just, I don't know can't get any momentum in second so you have to run in third gear but when you do you're kind of just bogging down a little bit second neither second or third really feels nice enough I, I, I think the gears should be shorter and then third might be a little bit more punchy out of it but um, unfortunately we we tried to work over the South African we couldn't get him and uh, in the end it is P6 even with the penalty rounded up to one second. But that is the first two races out of the way. We are now going to move on to uh, this track, Northern Isle Speedway. This is a circuit which you guys voted for in the lobby. And I'm really glad you guys took me here. I didn't think to do oval racing in Fiat 500s, but it could be the best thing since sliced bread. I'm thinking about doing, I don't know, can we do a 500 lap race around here? Or a 500 kilometer race? Something to rival the Indy 500? If that is possible on this game, you best be assured that I'm gonna give it a go. But for now, we're doing a five lap race around here with strong slipstream on. Away we go for what will be the greatest race ever in sim racing history. We're holding our P11 at the moment. Daniel Ricciardo in his assassin driving suit is uh, 
on a mission here. He wants to redeem himself. He wants to win a race. And he is not afraid to kill 11 Fiat 500s to get there. So, we're uh, just going to pick our way through the field as best we can. I think maybe inside is the best way to go about things. Um, the slipstream, as long as you can get tucked up behind someone, you're going to absolutely fly past them on the straight. And uh, you can see we did get a bit of a hit on the run into uh, the final corner. Didn't dissuade us too much though, and we're now up in a P4 as we set a purple lap. It's just absolute dodgems now. He's descending into anarchy. There's a Domino's uh, Fiat 500 there back there who just wants to deliver a pizza, and he's somehow got himself mixed up in this race. He has to win in order to get out of here and deliver that pizza in under 30 minutes. Otherwise, well, that's coming out of his pay, isn't it? But we're heading on to the final lap, and we have ascendancy in this Grand Prix. I don't know how. We started in last, and now we are the one who are towing everybody along. The two behind us are getting a nice run. I've been punted off by the green car, who overtook me under the apron. Thank you very much. And now we head on to the final lap. One second slowdown penalty. I don't even know what that's for, to be honest. We're still getting punted. This is the run up to the line, is it? No, it's not. No, it's not. We still have half a lap to go in this... Fiat 500, 500 Grand Prix, and it's going to be neck and neck as we cross the line. It's going to be a photo finish with the penalty, but at the end of the day, <laughs> it's fourth place. I got absolutely shafted by the green car. He punted me into someone, and then that kind of ricocheted me into someone else. They went into the barrier, and the game thought that I was at fault. And so really, that has cost us the victory that has cost us from going last to first in five laps in a Fiat 500 on the smallest oval track known to man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you need to see plenty more racing game content. That race was absolutely insane. And so I want to do it again. I want to do it. I want to make it bigger, better, add tire wear, add pit stops, have a full lobby. I don't know, I feel like this has the potential to be amazing, as well as like some other track and car combinations I want to do in the future, so if there's anything you want to see, let me know, and I will endeavour to do that. But uh, I've had an absolutely awesome time here today on GT Sport. I definitely am going to do more open lobbies, so make sure you're following me on Twitter to uh, get involved in those. I'll tweet them out whenever I go live and stuff, and um, we can have more craziness like this. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, I'll see you next time.